Hello guys, I hope you're well. Uh, what I want to show you now is for AI Flux and how we can actually create a LoRa. So we go to for AI and I will choose the dashboard that will get me on the home page. So first, when you log in here, this is the platform. Uh, you, you will need to register, of course. And normally it's not as scary and hard as it looks. Uh, these here things are all kind of different tools. So one is for a portrait, one is to create a video, one is to create an um, image to image and so on. So the platform works on uh, credits. You need to purchase some credits from here. I have already purchased a few times because I try to create as much content as I can. Uh, here you can see how you have spent, how much you spent for the current month, uh, what is your current balance. So I normally purchase most of the time at uh, $20. And with, uh, let's say, $10, you, you can uh, build a lot of things. In general, you can build a lot of things. So now I will go to the Explore tab. And I will choose uh, my portal which I want to use now we're gonna build a Laura so um, we will go and write just Laura with control and F and I want to find this flux Laura fast training I have used this more than a few times as you can see here uh, I have a training history with some uh, models and so on basically this is a LoRa here and it is created with inputting images and uh, uploading images and that's your model in general these images that you input here become uh, one uh, training instance if I run here my inference, you can, I can call this model that I have already um, applied. As you see here, I have the prompt with uh, the trigger word. This is how I have named my Laura. Let's wait to generate. And this is my model. Pretty, uh, pretty girl with uh, basic, just simple, as you see, I didn't write any prompt here. Normally, you need to write some kind of a prompt in order for uh, Flux to work properly for you. Now, I'm going to upload a zip file. And it's best to have as much uh, photos as uh, you can. Because that way, you provide Flux with a good idea of how to... Uh, get the best out of your model and so on now i want to copy all of them and simply upload them but i'm facing an issue so i will convert them uh to a zip file and just give me a second um i want to go to here here uh, okay uh, I will compress them with RINRAR, add to archive, and OK. And now I have the RAR file of these photos, and I'm just going to input it here. Just a moment. All files, please. And there are did it upload? No, I didn't upload. I think this seems like a long process, but once you do it more than a few times, yes, you will drag it. Your files you can drag them like this here. What is interesting, it doesn't happen, maybe because I have already generated this LoRa here. I wanted to show you the upload process. You already saw it, how you need to simply drag your files. And now I have this model uh, saved here with the trigger word, Selena. Here, when you upload the images, you upload uh, your trigger word, but use something unique. That's why I use some kind of uh, stuff and just write the name. This is what's uh, most uh, convenient for me. 
So now here you want to make a prompt and make your model look uh, in some kind of a way that you want. You can set the default size to 3.4. Uh, here you can have number of images which you will receive. We can go and push it to 2. Uh, so this is a created LoRa already when I have uploaded my files and I have been charged uh, approximately two dollars to create it and now once it's created you can cr make like 60 photos for two dollars with them or for one dollar around 30 photos which is a lot and is very good this is a lot of content 30 uh, 30 photos it's very good and basically it's never enough but uh, for the price it's not uh, that bad so i what i want to have here is some kind of a nice prompt you can always get your prompts from uh, chat gpt or uh, whatever what i like to do is just use uh, joy caption alpha and uh, here you will upload a photo of a very uh, good looking instagram model which is ai this is an ai model i'm uploading the photo here and i will receive my prompt so that I use it for my LoRa. I want uh, my LoRa also to have the best possible prompt to use because prompts are very important. Now I can have it here, copy it and just paste it here for my model and let's see how it goes and what happens. A few seconds. okay we have the size image size 3.4 is very good for instagram and social media i have set it to two um, images the number of inference steps which will take you can play with this around but normally uh, in my experience in the middle it works best for me or i don't know um so the compiler is taking a bit more time to uh, generate this photo normally it generates them a bit faster uh, i hope that everything is okay and it doesn't give me a not safe for work error or something like that so if you work with nude content and naked uh, people uh, you will probably receive a not safe for work uh, content error prompt here so what you want to do is when you upload your zip file and create the LoRa uh, please do not use any kind of uh, nude photos boob photos whatever because uh, too much skin visible will tweak flux is uh, interface he doesn't like uh, pornographic stuff so he will give out an error but uh, pretty pretty basic to use pretty simple you need the right tools you need the right uh, prompts and good photos 15 20 photos and uh, in all kinds of shapes like not only the face but uh, in your photos you need to have also some uh, body uh, you know this that so here i have a lot like around 20 photos it's very interesting that the compiler is taking too so long and uh normally it should be done by now this is a long long time but let's see maybe he will generate for us something good uh it's just that yes it is annoying a bit to wait but in the meantime, I can also show you uh, with Flux some other things that it can uh, do. Like here we have Clink, and this is an image to video trainer. Uh, here you can generate videos which can be used for reels. So the idea is to input from here a model that you already have and you already want to work with and uh, flux will generate a video with uh, the body shape and face of your model or do its best uh, to generate it so i'm very curious why this actually actually doesn't work um it's taking too long so what i want to do is i will go again and i will go to laura fast training on purpose i am not uh going to stop the video and uh, show it uh, again because when you face such issues you know best practice go through it together let me try to run another reference it's the same flux training uh, 
Here, here I have another Laura, which I want to see what's going to happen and what kind of a photo I have. Let's see if it generates it. Okay, here I have uploaded some kind of stuff. Let's see with the prompt. Is it going to work? Maybe the prompt is just too, too uh, long. Or I don't know, I have used longer prompts, you know. Let's try uh, with another prompt. Okay, I have it completed. I have the same model, actually. This is, again, this same uh, Laura. So... Here I have the ready photo, guys. And this looks pretty good, actually. You can download it from here. Uh, you can share it, but you don't need to share it. You, you can directly download it. And here, yes, the longer time it takes because I have uh, two number of images. If you use, for example, four number of images, you're going to wait even longer. The compiler creates them. But here, you see, two images are very good. You already have double content. Uh, you have I have been charged like six cents seven cents, so it's nothing and Yeah, basically that's how you create your your Laura. This is your model This is how you can tweak her with different kind of prompts You can make it look in different kind of ways shapes places background. It's amazing the only important thing is uh, to have your uh, ready uh, reference with 15 20 photos and uh, Flux will use the face as you see you don't even need to use face swap So I hope that bring it together and see you in another another video guys have fun and tweak a bit